everybody. It's me, Bucky Ann. Oh, I just knocked her over. Um, so I gave myself a challenge. Although I used to reborn dolls, so this isn't all that different. But the materials that I use are different than what I'm used to using. Because I normally used heat genesis paints and stuff like that, oil paints. So now, since I started repainting dolls, I started using, you know, the chalk pastels. And I've got my colored pencils. And my Liquitex matte varnish. I, I didn't use the MSC. I just heard a lot of toxic stuff go on with that. And I, it's just not easy for me to get in and out of the house. So I put that to the side and I said I'd do it with this. Which, it worked out okay. Um, for the most part, the white, no matter what I did with my white colored water pencil, it didn't work. It doesn't work on this. I guess you really need the MSC for it to get enough of a tooth to grab on. So I decided to just go with the white paint. So this I did use white acrylic paint for the white. Um, and then I used a regular, what did I use? I used, I think it's called Dermacoat Gloss for over the eyes and the lips. But since I'm just getting into this, this is actually a dress from another Monster High doll. I don't know which Monster High doll this was. I think it, she looked like a vampire. She had fangs. Um, I only have one other Monster High doll. Oh, no, I have two others. I haven't done them yet. But I'm starting with... I have... Uh, I think this is Briar Rose, which is supposed to be like Sleeping Beauty. And it's actually her outfit I took off and put on her, since it was a whole complete outfit. But you'll see, I'll post the pictures of her before and then after. I didn't do this on camera at all, because I didn't even know if I could do it. So I figured I'd just do it on my own and see if I could do it without wasting anybody's time, including my own, you know, trying to videotape it and all that, and then it comes out wrong anyway. But I thought it came out pretty good. So I found out that her name is Draculaura, and she's a Monster High doll. I took off the makeup with the acetone, and that's still the process of that. And then I started to shade and contour her face with the pastels, and I used the pencils, sketched in roughly what I wanted. Layer by layer, I gave her a face. And she was almost done here. I ended up using acrylic paint, gave her the sparkle to her eyes. And that's about it. She was done. This is my first repaint all done. I'm not changing her hair because I just thought it was so pretty silky and smooth. She did have a layer of pink hair underneath. I just cut off the hair. I'll pluck these out later maybe. If not, I, I could always leave it. It really doesn't even matter. It gets covered up. You can't even see it. But, um, so this is my first repaint. I wish you could see her better, but yeah, no, she's in the dark back there. And here, she, it's too bright. I have to, let me see something, how can I diffuse this light yet not lose the light? There, I think that looks better. So you can see what her face looks like without the bright glare. Um, and like I said, I haven't really finished her, I don't, I don't know what her name is, there's no theme yet. I haven't finished, she still has the points on the ears. But by the end of this video, everything will be finished with her. And I'm going to start on some others. So, I'll be back. Okay, I just noticed that my camera is recording this way. 
So, I've been showing you everything this way, which would be sideways, although to me it looks straight. So I have to hold it this way. Right, so, directly into the camera would be like here. And I have to get used to it. I've moved my camera. I rearranged my art room and everything's different. I tried to get the camera at a better angle, but not realizing that I changed the angle. <laughs> I was doing everything sideways. <laughs> I hope you don't mind the sideways stuff, but you can still see her. She's got heavy little boots. I love how these dolls move. These are the like, ball jointed dolls, which I got myself, um, what's her name? Lonnie. She's a um, BJD doll. And then I got something kid. She's adorable. She has no wig yet, though. But I'll be showing you those probably in a different video. Cause this video would be forever long. But, yeah, so is my, uh, my first repaint. I actually love the way she came. She's going to be my my doll. I don't think I'll sell her or give her up. She'll be my first. It's like when you make, um, when you buy a business and you start it up, the first doll you make, you frame and put on the wall. So, she'll be my, my dollar bill on the wall. <laughs> She's going to say, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>